My name is Larry Maston. I work for the U.S. Geological Survey for the Volcano Hazards Program. My specialty is understanding and reducing impact from volcanic ash during eruptions. Volcanic ash is geographically the most widespread hazard of all volcanic hazards. We know from Eyjafjallajökull, the Icelandic volcano that erupted in 2010, as well as the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens and big eruptions like Pinatubo that you can be many thousands of kilometers away from a volcano and you can, you can still have your life disrupted by its eruption. The greatest hazard uh, from ash to airplanes is when ash is ingested into a jet engine. The ash melting temperature is usually below the normal operating temperature of the engine. So the ash melts and it coats on the turbine blades and it can cause the turbines to stop running. In the United States, we have about 170 active volcanoes mostly in Alaska and the Aleutian Islands, and although they're remote, more than about 300,000 people fly over those volcanoes or near those volcanoes every day. We have, on average, about one eruption per year from the Aleutians and from Alaska, and at least a few smaller eruptions. Our objective is not only to keep people safe by avoiding that ash, but also to minimize the amount of disruption from those eruptions. So. What we do in our group is we develop and test uh, numerical models that track volcanic ash and uh, forecast where it will go and where it will land during an eruption. Once we have a forecast from a model, we can forward them to our partners at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration where they can be fed into an aviation flight warning system that can be used to either reroute or reschedule flights to avoid that ash. I like developing models, but I especially like developing results that have some societal value.